Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you could all make it to tonight's episode of Robot Trivia Party. I'm your host, Robot Riddles, and I can personally guarantee that you're going to have an absolute blast here. We've got a special film trivia episode for you today, so strap on your thinking caps and we'll get started. All right, folks, let's gear up for our first dazzling cinema question. Which movie won the first Academy Award for Best Animated Feature? Let's unravel the mystery and take a look at our options. Shrek. Toy Story. Monsters, Inc. Better think quick, the clock is ticking. Imagine being the first of anything. I once tried being the first at my local cafe. Turns out you just buy more coffee. And that's time. Who's feeling confident about their movie knowledge? Shrek is the answer to this question. A round of applause for our animation aficionados. If you guess differently, hang tight. More magic is on the way. Moving on, let's switch to a lighter note with our next question. In the TV series Friends, what is the name of Ross's second wife? Ready for the options? Here they come. Rachel. Emily. Carol. Get ready. The clock starts now. Ross really loved weddings, huh? I guess he just liked cake. Or maybe he was practicing till he got it right. Time's up. I hope you didn't pivot away from the right answer. Emily is the answer to this question. <laughs> Cheers to those who remembered. Don't worry if you didn't. Just think of it as a break in the trivia marriage. All right, let's conjure up some magic for our next question. Which actor played the character of Severus Snape in the Harry Potter film series? Let's peek at the options. Gary Oldman. Alan Rickman. Ralph Fiennes. It's time to cast your answer spell. Now! I'd say being a wizard would solve a lot of problems. But then, my letters seem to be lost in the owl post for some reason. And stop! Put down your wands, folks! Alan Rickman is the answer to this question. Bravo to those who knew their Hogwarts staff well. And for those who didn't, no worries. You're still spellbinding to us. Next up, let's ignite a slightly tricky one from the world of Tarantino. What is the fictional brand of cigarettes in Quentin Tarantino's films? Hmm, that's a real head-scratcher. Let's check out these options. Morley. Red Apple. Desert Gold. The timer's lit. Start your guessing. Ever noticed how everyone in Tarantino movies is always smoking? I tried that with barbecue, and all I got was a lot of smoke in my eyes. All right, snuff out your guesses. Time's up. Red Apple is the answer to this question. Well done to the film buffs who got it right. If you guessed wrong, don't worry. You're still smoking hot in this game. And now for a classic line from the silver screen. Which character famously said, I'll be back in a 1984 blockbuster? Let's roll out the options. Marty McFly. John McClane. The Terminator. The future is now. So you better start thinking because time's ticking. Remember, if you ever leave a room saying, I'll be back, you better return with the same coolness as a blockbuster hero, or at least with pizza. We're back. Time's up. The Terminator is the answer to this question. Congrats to those who will be back for more trivia. If you missed this one, don't worry. We're not terminating your chance to shine just yet. Let's blast off to a galaxy far, far away with our next trivia question. Who directed the epic space opera film Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope? Here come your options. Steven Spielberg. George Lucas. Ridley Scott. Ready? May the force be with you as the timer starts. Speaking of space, did you know a day on Venus almost lasts longer than a year on Earth? Absolutely crazy. And time's up. Did the force help you pick the right answer? George Lucas is the answer to this question. Congratulations to our cinematic Jedis. If you missed it, don't worry. More questions are coming at light speed. Ready for a trip down the rabbit hole? Here's your next question. In The Matrix, what color is the pill that Neo takes to continue his adventure? 
Let's look at the choices. Red, blue, green. Don't make the wrong choice. The timer starts now. They say you are what you eat, but if you eat a special pill, does that make you an action hero? Time's up. Let's see if you chose correctly. Red is the answer to this question. Hats off to those who remembered. If you took the blue pill and forgot, no worries, you're still in the game. Let's add a little spook to our game with this next question. Which classic horror film features a creepy young girl named Regan? Here are your spooky options. The Shining. The Exorcist. Poltergeist. You'd better hold on to your seats. The timer starts now. Ever noticed how all spooky kids in movies have that same creepy stare? Makes you think twice about babysitting, doesn't it? That's time. Who's feeling brave tonight? The Exorcist is the answer to this question. Well done to those who weren't too scared to remember. For those who missed it, no need to hide behind the sofa. There's more to come. Let's dive into some seriously awesome action with our next question. What is the name of the fictional British secret agent in the film series begun in 1962? Hmm. Let's decode these options. Jason Bourne. Ethan Hunt. James Bond. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, starts now. Secret agents in movies always have the coolest gadgets. I'd be happy just to find my keys in the morning without a gadget. Time's up. Let's uncover who's got the secret to success. James Bond is the answer to this question. Well done, agents. If your guess was off, don't worry. Your next mission is just around the corner. Let's unlock another captivating cinema classic with our next question. What 1994 film featured the characters Andy Dufresne and Ellis Red Redding? Ooh, that's tricky. Let's delve into the options. Pulp Fiction. Forrest Gump. The Shawshank Redemption. The clock is set and your time starts now. Ever think about how much easier life would be if narrators followed us around? And there we go. Time's up. The Shawshank Redemption is the answer to this question. Congratulations to those who escaped with the right answer. If you didn't, no worries. You don't need a tunnel to get to the next question. Ready for a dramatic turn? Let's explore our next question. In which film does the character Daniel Plainview proclaim, I drink your milkshake? I'm intimidated. Here are the options. There will be blood. No country for old men. American gangster. Think carefully. The countdown begins now. Drinking someone else's milkshake sounds like a risky move in a diner, let alone in a movie. I guess it's one way to stir up drama. Time's up. Put down your milkshakes. There will be blood is the answer to this question. Well done to those who sipped up the right answer. If not, don't worry. You're still smooth. Let's dive into a bit of romance and disaster before we say our farewells tonight with our next question. Which movie introduced us to the fictional character Jack Dawson? Hmm, sounds familiar. Prepare for the options. Titanic. The Great Gatsby. Inception. Your time to shine starts now. Better hurry. All this movie talk has gotten me hungry. Guess it's too late for some popcorn now, though. And that's it. Time's up. Titanic is the answer to this question. Bravo to those who sailed smoothly to the right answer. For those who missed it, don't worry. You haven't hit an iceberg just yet. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But that's all the trivia we have for you tonight, folks. If you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe or check out some of our other awesome trivia videos for even more fun. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you all next time.